Hi, my name is David Aidosi, and in this video I want to show how I have integrated the My 2016 Dynamics servers inside of Main9, inside of Workflow of Main9. Main9 is a set of uh, preferences, script, and plugin from My 2016. You can download from below the video, and it's absolutely free from Creative Crush site. All right, um, I want to create some. Uh, demonstration in this uh, in this video so you can uh, really understand how the elements uh, how the dynamics elements work uh, before starting i need to create some uh, a little geometry to make some experiment with that and uh, now i want to make some smooth so i, I can press the right mouse button to adding smooth and uh, dragging this one all right great and want to now push this a little bit up i want to freeze the transformation and delete history control enter for make these two actions and now i want to make this sphere a sub body and then cloth so i need to press z again right mouse button for contextual menu and from here i can under dynamics uh, enable and cloth very 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 good so if i now play make my play the simulation start and everything works fine so i press uh, select my nucleus i want to collide to the ground plane in my simulation so i can select the nucleus ctrl a for attribute editor and i want to enable use plane very simple very good i think a little simple demonstration how and cloth works good i want to add uh, to um, constrain uh, a transform constraint to some vertex here so i go under the z left mouse button i'm go under the locator to create a locator i want to drag it up now i select uh, some vertex and uh, select the the locator so uh yeah everything works fine and now i can finally uh, connect uh, the two elements uh, uh, together by using uh, a combination selection so in this case because i have select a locator and uh, some vertex i can use the right mouse button and from south position enable as you can see the transform constraint very good all right now I can press play again and see the difference between before and now now this vertex remains st stuck and uh, attached to the locator i can use the interactive playback too as in main nine i have had this uh, second playback button this is interactive playback so now i can move my locator and uh, um have an interactive interactive simulation and look like a very in, interactive uh, way to to work and to, to to test the things and to play with uh, with this kind of elements all right of course i can use uh, this object for uh, some other purpose inside of uh, inside of dynamics so i want to create another cube and again uh, a little bit smooth uh, and everything i want is drag up a little bit up and from this volume i want to create some particle so i can press z right mouse button i can go under the dynamics again uh, open up the fill with object particle option box and from here i want to increase a little bit the resolution i want to make 25 25 resolution okay i can ha now hide my sphere so press h sorry not the particle but the sphere all right and now you can see i have uh, inside of my sphere some particle i can press playback button and uh, the nucleus simulate the, the falling down of these static particles i can uh, select the, again the solver enable use plane and play again now the problem is uh, the particle not self collide so when it falling down to the ground they are totally overlap each other each other so i need to reselect the particle simulation press the right mouse button and use uh, these two elements first of all i want enable self collide and press play as you can see, self collide make the simulation more slow. This is because uh, the particle uh, need to know each other, but it is uh, needed for have uh, 
correct uh, fluid simulation uh, inside of uh, inside of uh, nucleus solver so it is uh, uh, slow down a lot the simulation but uh, as you can see uh, now it's a lot more precise and uh, it's work uh, as expected all right um, so we have access to a whole uh, a lot of elements a lot of contextual elements to do this kind of uh, work I have uh, the ability to create a field uh, like uh, neutron gravity and so on so far enable or disable the gravity for the particle or enable or disable the self-glide for the particle so I think so it's very 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 interactive way to work with Z and the right mouse button good of course I have had uh, n plot uh, and um, an air 2 I want to show you immediately if I create another polygon scanner this one I want sphere I want to reset the position of all the sphere go to the side mode and uh, from here I use Z and the left mouse button and create some controversial skewer very fast very well and here now I can use this curve as hair as hair for these uh, elements so now I can select this one that one I want to just only change the subdivision axis so I can have all right this uh, all right select this one that one press Z and uh, Z and, the, Z and the right mouse button make your dynamic now in the position or create a, a little bit follicle and this follicle uh, drive uh, this new curve this new curve simulator so it's a very fast way to create some hair from uh, from a point and I think so it's very, it's very powerful way I want to show you a little trick to use that with uh, uh, to use that with uh, XGen and uh, to introduce a little bit XGen and um, for example if I want to connect uh, uh, a guide uh, XGen guide to a curve I can uh, do this kind of movement look at this now I can uh, um, select my sphere go under Z right mouse button sorry uh, Z left mouse button XGen open the XGen window to have access to XGen. Now I want to create a new description based on selection so I can work from here create a new description or I can select this face Z right mouse button XGen create a new description place and shaping guides as option I want to create my simulation now the simulation uh, XGen uh, XGen workflow st work start from this phase and I want to use this dynamic curve as guide for um, as guide for the uh, the XGen simulation so now I can go under the utilities and I can convert uh, curves to guides uh, delete, uh, the deactivate the delete curve and enable the preserve dynamic link and click on add guest so now I have uh, a fast uh, uh, xgen guide uh, and from here I can create uh, I can create my my strand my my elements as, as you can see all is driven by the end plot curve so a very powerful way to work with with this kind of elements but of course one of the most interesting uh, feature I've added to the last versions of Maya is absolutely Bifrost. Uh, Bifrost is a very fast uh, multi-core solver. Uh, this means uh, if you have a lot of core uh, and you have a, a, a more fast and, and more, more powerful processor it, uh, is a re uh, it, it makes faster uh, simulations. I want to show here, I want to create some uh, polygon sphere again. I want to let it up a little bit. And now I want to use uh, this sphere as emitter for bifrost fluids. So press Z, right mouse, right mouse button, dynamics, and from dynamics I want to enable the pa, 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 create bifrost liquids. So if now I press play and select my 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 bifrost, you can see the green area is when the cache is already done. So here I have already start up the simulation and the particle already calculated. As as you can see, 
uh, is very fast uh, and is a lot more faster than uh, n cloud and nucleus and then particle. Um, of course, these particles are self collide with each other, so it's, it's a really, really uh, realistic and unrealistic fluid simulation. And now everything falling down in this in this fashion. I can change some rules, of course. One of the first things I want to is a high sphere. And uh, what I want to do now is uh, do not falling down elements, uh, but I want only do not continuous emission. As you can see here, I have a, a sort of, uh, of point of emission, and and it continue to emit new particles. Uh, from give you an idea of how many particles are here, I can press Z, middle mouse button, and enable toggle UD info. And from here, as you can see, in this point of at the end of the simulation, I have uh, around uh, uh, 16, uh, 6, um, I'm sorry, <laughs> this number, yeah. And here I have a little bit, uh, a little, a lot of 10% uh, of, of the total. Uh, uh, under 10% of the total elements. Of course, it can, the, the voxels uh, uh, increase uh, with the particles because uh, uh, the voxel define uh, how, how travel, how many travel the elements inside the world, the space of Maya, and uh, the particles is the number of particles, of course, the total number of particles. Um, I want to change something in this case. I don't want a continuous emission. I want only a, a liquid blob, so I can press Z, right mouse button, and from here I want to uh, define uh, uh, the ability to use... Uh, Oh, sorry, uh, this is uh, the, 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 I make an error for uh, define how, of course, how the, and if the uh, fluids is in continuous emission, you need to change the parameter of the, of the um, emitters. So I select atmosphere, press C, right mouse button, dynamics, uh, from dynamics, I can uh, continuous emission off. Okay, I can hide my sphere again, I can replay the simulation and as you can see here and now the simulation is a lot more faster this is because the total number of, uh, of voxels and uh, particles do not uh, um, do not uh, um, increase uh, uh, as before that's, that's because uh, as you can see the voxel number is driven by the the, the uh, the dimension of this box that contains the simulation and the particle numbers depend, of course, on the number of particles. Now, the number of particles is, is all the same, but when traveling, uh, sometimes change the number of voxels. This is because, as you can see, the, the, the dimension of, the, of this box uh, uh, is changed when, when the elements falling down. So now I can press the, the simulation, the Z, right mouse button, for example. In this case, I want to disable the gravity. I want to only make a blob on uh, blocked in, in hair, and uh, from here I want to create uh, a little bit uh, collider for for that. So I want to create another cube. This time I want to create a tool cube. I want to change something here. I want to change some vertex uh, position. I want to scale it down. I want to give to this a little bit of no, I want to add being sorry, not as smooth but uh, divisions. So as you can see, don't change my the shape of my object, but, uh, yeah, change its division. And now I want to make this as collider for uh, for this uh, for this shape of, of particle. So I need to select the simulation, select the geometries. And I can press Z, a right mouse button, add to simulation, and I want to add this element as collider. So now I want to animate this collider. So I need to press D, uh, press D, and uh, oh, sorry, no. Four. I want to move the pivot, but there is something that I don't understand here. Sorry, I don't. I don't know. I don't nothing uh, all right now I can press this to take this press s and uh, I need to start from the beginning okay press s and uh, around frame 15 I want to show you go this in 
this direction now all right now i can play play the playback and uh, nucleus simulate again the sorry um, bifrost is simulate again the the cache so i can uh, impact uh, see the impact between uh, particles and uh, and uh, my object and this is a very very interesting way to deform and uh, and uh, connect element together as you can see now the particle are cut in two half uh, and a little bit, a little bit tricky, a, li a little tricky. The, the, the color defines the acceleration of the particle. When the color is more white, uh, that's that's mean uh, there is more acceleration of a particle simulation. Of course, now if I want, I can add, uh, for example, a mesh. So I select only the only the simulation and the Z right mouse button. Uh, I want to add uh, a mesh and. Um, all right, for this mesh, for, I want to hide the simulation. I want to show you. Uh, sorry, I want to show you only the mesh. This is the mesh. I have nucleus. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, the bifrost uh, um, create, and um, now I can play my simulation. As you can see now, the the, the water splash is cut in two in two parts in two perfect parts. Yeah, uh, I think so. This is a, a, some some way I want to show in some way. No, not um, not a, a complicated uh, simulate uh, parameters, but uh, some really interesting way you can uh, uh, simply. Uh, play and uh, and uh, how the contextual way to working with uh, uh, May 9 can help to find in a fast way the option and uh, and all thing you need to to create this kind of uh, this kind of simulation so i think so it's a very 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 fast way to do this kind of things and uh, I, I like it a lot um, just the last thing i want to show you is the ability to uh, create of course as you can uh, imagine uh, and can and uh, dynamics the ability to create a aerial simulation aero is uh, like a fume uh, let you create some some uh, particle that simulate the fume and i think uh, uh, it's everything everything is really 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 interesting and of course um, i'm sure that, that, that the future of maya the maya solar system probably inside of the inside of bifrost all right mm, very good thank you for uh, see this video i hope you find this useful and bye